Hey guys, what is up? It's me and Paul, and today we are doing a GoPro starter kit review. Now, uh, this is a really, really cool kit that my dad got me for my birthday, which was June 11th, and uh, I just want to share it with you guys and tell you how amazing the price on this is right now. So, if you don't, we probably know that the GoPro by itself, which is a GoPro here, costs 400 for the GoPro sil for silver, and then uh, yeah, and I got this whole set for 400. It includes the GoPro Hero 4 Silver, the GoPro Head Strap, plus a Wasabi Power 2 Battery, the 2 Battery Pack uh, kit. And uh, it's just an amazing kit, guys. You definitely have to get it if you're going to get a GoPro for yourself. And the price on it is limited right now. It's usually $500. And uh, yeah, so I'll put a link down in the description to this pack, of course. And let's just get right into it. Now, during this video, you guys are going to get a quick review of the GoPro Hero 4 Silver and some of the cool stuff in here. And uh, Yes, so let's begin. So I guess we'll always uh, we'll probably start with the GoPro here itself. So as you all see, it is the GoPro Hero 4, and it has a screen on it, which means it's a silver version. And uh, yeah, so this obviously comes with the box and the two uh, back doors that come in the box. I didn't take those out just right now. And I just want to give you some quick information about it. So this, the, the, when you get the pack, you get the regular GoPro box with it. And with that GoPro box, you get the actual GoPro. You get the casing around it, this cool little case that you see around it right now. Plus three back doors, which is this back thing over here, which I'll just pop right here for you. Like this. And then this door right here, which just actually pops off. And uh, I'll do that in a second, actually. So uh, this door right here, uh, you get three of these, right? So the one one of the versions of the threes, you can, you can just touch through it to the screen right here, and this is not waterproof at all. So do not put this in the water when you have this back door on. The second version of the back door is it's the same exact one as this, but some little plastic case in here, which allows it to go to four feet into into water. And the last version, which is a complete glass gorilla gorilla glass casing around it, and that it can go into 40 meters of water, but you cannot touch the screen through it. So that's the only, those are the three types of screen guys. I probably just wrote them on the screen just now, and I hope you guys read them. And then, yeah. So the GoPro itself, it can film up to 2.7K video, which is an amazing quality. I usually don't go more than 1080p, but that's just crazy quality, guys. And um, it's just unbreakable. I've seen videos of people dropping from like crazy heights without the casing and it survives. And that is just an incredible thing. And uh, yeah, so um, uh, it can have go to 12 megapixels while taking pictures. It has a small screen over here too, which allows you to actually you don't need the back screen here at all. You, this screen actually shows you everything that you need to see. It shows you all the settings as you go through it, and I'll give you a quick example of that. So this is the power button right here. When you click, when you hold down on it, you get this red light, and then that GoPro opens. And you get this little pop up thing come up and now you're seeing all the settings now you to go through the setting modes you click this part you click the power button once and it switches between photo it switches between shutter mode sorry um, well, multi-shot mode what am I saying shutter mode uh, playback and setup now I'm not gonna go into full detail guys because that is just gonna be crazy amounts of like information for you uh, most people know what the GoPro does, it's, it's, it's very open, it's the best type of camera of its kind, and uh, yeah, so I just, I, I gave some brief explanations on it just now, and of course to close it you just hold down this button again, and I'll give you some more information in a bit about this camera. Now let's move on to the other objects in this kit. So the second item you get is this GoPro head strap, and the GoPro head strap is a really, really cool feature, and I mean, uh, um, item you get with this and generally people who get GoPros they don't use anything other than this when they generally use a GoPro and how it works is it basically you just you have to fit it to your size you put it on you usually have to use a cap when doing this but it works without a cap too <laughs> it looks funny guys without a cap I'm just saying but this is how it's supposed to look and the GoPro goes on it pretty simply too and I'll show you all that guys in a bit now you have that and the second thing you have is this battery pack. And this battery pack is really, really amazing. The light, the battery life on these, on one pack is about five hours if you um, 
film on and off, not constantly. And I come to two of these. They're it's by Wasabi Power. It's the company name. You get two of these cool batteries. And you get the battery charger. You, you can charge two of them at once. It can charge any battery. You don't have to worry about it. It's not just these ones. Sorry about that. You can get any Go GoPro battery and it will charge it. And it comes with this charging cable. Because you need that, of course. And this is not a wall mount uh, charger. So you need to plug it in to a USB port. I mean, you need to plug it into this. Then from that to a USB or a iPhone charger, or whatever you want to call it. And sorry guys, I'm not very good at explaining items like cameras and stuff like that. It's my it's one of my first videos doing this. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's get back into the actual GoPro now. So I'll, I'll take the GoPro out of this casing because I want you guys to see all the details on this GoPro. I'm taking it out of the casing. There's a little on sorry yeah on this side. You see this little gap here. You put your finger in here and then. It slides right out, and now you have the small camera, and uh, it is just an amazing camera, guys. I got it yesterday. I'm in love with it, total love with it. It is a beautiful camera as well. So let's, go, let's start from the front here. So on the front, like I mentioned before, you have your screen, which all with all the details. There's two lights on here. There's the blue light and the red light. Now the blue light means your Wi-Fi on the camera is on, and I'll talk. I'll get to that in a second too. And the red light means you're either taking a video, taking a photo, or you're turning it on and off, or there's, there's very low battery life. And then uh, you have the lens here, and you have the power button, which is also a mo which you also use to flip through the settings and photo mode, video mode, and all that cool stuff. And if you move to the top of the camera here, we have this one button, which is used to basically just uh, start the video and select your items when you're like in the settings mode and on this back here you have your screen and this I'm sorry this is very amateur of me but I have not figured what that actually is yet um, it's just <laughs> there for me right now on the bottom of the ca on the bottom of the camera you have your little battery area and the battery basically actually takes up most of the camera inside there isn't really much inside of it other than the camera and you just slide that back in and close it like that. And on the side over oh sorry, I'm like flipping around the camera as we go. On the side over here, you have all your ports and your SD card slot. So this does take mini SD cards, so they are very, very small. You have your HDMI, your mini HDMI, you have your USB, and uh, yeah. I mean mine came kind of paintless here. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen, but it doesn't matter, it's not affecting the camera at any way at all. And by the way, this camera's microphone is very, very good quality, but you cannot hear anything. I mean, you can hear some stuff, but very, very low if you have this on. So usually if I, if I decide to vlog with this, I'm probably going to end up holding it like this. Then when I'm done, put it back into this casing. And doing this video, guys, at the end, I'm going to show you a, a, um example of me riding a bike with this on my chest. Because I bought some extra accessories, and I will go, I'll do a video, guys on all the accessory packs I bought, the case I bought for this camera, and all that really cool stuff. And basically you put it right here and then I I rode my I filmed myself biking to some place and then coming back. You guys can watch that. It's a pretty cool video. Um, example wise for how this camera works exactly. And uh, yeah so you guys basically just saw the main body of the camera. It's it's very simple guys and I of course I forgot something. There's a small button right here, which is the settings button, which allows you go, to, go, to go directly into the settings without having to go through the uh, screen and just, it's, 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 it makes everything shorter for you and um, makes your life easier. So basically you just put this camera back into its slot here. And this, this case is so protective guys, it really is. It's crazy. Guys, wait, do not leave yet. This video is not over. Please just wait one more second. And I actually have some other items that did come with this packet, and let's get to them right now. So these are two other items, like there's one, of, there's two of these glass um, casings, like I said before. These are, these are called the back doors to the GoPro casing, which is this thing right here, and uh, this back door, which I showed you, does come off. You just have to crack it off a little bit. You pull it down, and it just cracks off the case, and you just change it with any of these that you want to. And so this is what I was talking about. It's completely glass. You can't touch through it. You can't go put your, I mean, it's, it is the case. It's, you can't do anything with it. It protects your camera the best it can. And uh, 
best possible and it can go 40 meters into the water. Now this other case I have right here is, um, it has a plastic right here which you can kind of actually move around. I, don't know, I can't really show you that well. And you can touch through it, it's touchable, but this thing is, I'm going to say right now, it's the crappiest case ever, it really is. Uh, you can't touch through it, it's just, I mean you can touch through it, but it feels so bad. So the, uh, the two cases I mainly use is this one. Well, I mean, I haven't used this camera very often yet, but I'm just saying, in the future I will definitely end up using the one where you can't touch through it, but it goes into water very well, and the one where it's completely touchable through. And, uh, because this one, when you, when you touch it, it feels like, it feels so cheap. I, the, I, I don't like how it feels in your hand. And, uh, you know, I'll just give you an example of how exactly you, uh, take the casing off. And, by the way, when, you, when you're putting this thing on accessories, you, have, you always have to use these screws, they're everywhere. They look complicated, guys. When I when I was watching videos of how people put these GoPros together, I was like, how am I ever going to figure this out? And in the end, it's actually really, really easy. I looked at it, it was just like, everything looks so hard, but it was so simple. Okay, so now let me get to what I was going to show you. So when you're doing this, guys, make sure you take the GoPro out, because there is a risk of it falling out of the, the casing. So always take your GoPro out, put it right somewhere, anywhere, and then you just basically go like this and it pops right off. You're gonna take your other glass, you can just stick that on if you want to. Oh, my uh, amateurness is coming into play right now. And then this can just close up like this. And you have your case. Now there is two other items in this that I have not mentioned yet. Now the first item is this. Now uh, the SD card that it was supposed to be in this is actually in the GoPro right now and uh, you know it's, it's just an SD card it's not very important it came with a 32 gigabyte SD card and by the way whatever I'm showing you right now it did come with this bundle so $400 you get all of this and it is just an amazing deal so make sure you check it out and uh, this other piece right here which is a USB type looking thing is actually an adapter since the SD card that goes into this camera is so tiny guys you need this little adapter where you stick the SD card into the end of it here and then you can use that so that's the second item and this is by Lexar it's a very good company if you don't know what, what it is and uh, this other item came with the head strap and it's a clip so this clip is basically for backpacks for belts I mean you can stick it on your shirt basically and it allows you to kind of hold the GoPro without noticing it's there which is also a cool thing it's just like this I don't know how much I'll actually use this the camera focuses I'll show you yeah so uh, it's a pretty cool casing too I mean, yeah I was holding it upside down but yeah it's, it's, it's a cool little thing as well and uh, it's nice to have so yeah guys this is basically all the items that came with this packet and I will be uploading more videos about this GoPro because I have a really cool case for it which I'm gonna go over and I have a, a really cool accessories bundle that came with it and uh, of course I want those all separately, but I'm gonna go over them as well. And you should all check. You should, you should all check all of these items out. And if you have a birthday coming up, you have a friend's birthday coming out, um, you have a children that want this cool stuff. I mean, it's a perfect gift, guys. I, I was really happy when my dad got me this. And uh, yeah. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And now I'm gonna show you the clip that I said I would show you. The biking clip of me biking, basically. All right, guys. Talk to you in a bit. Enjoy. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please write, comment, and subscribe at the end of this video. I'll see you guys next time.